Let's go! Get ready! Three! Three!
Get ready! Hut! Do that! Let's go! Hut. Let's go! Hey.
Let's go! Hey. here in St. Louis for this preseason matchup between the Chiefs and the Rams. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Hello, friends. Jim Vance alongside Bill Zinn. We're live here tonight for this primetime matchup. It's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air as these teams are ready to take center stage. How about it, Bill? Jim, you're right. The word is energy. You can feel it in the crowd here tonight, but the players must be careful. Sometimes we have a lot of energy. It turns into emotion. And when you get real emotional on the football field, what do you do? You make mistakes. So be careful in this game tonight. Don't make those big mistakes. Yeah, when you talk about the St. Louis Rams, Kansas City Chiefs, uh, right in the middle of the country, there they are, Jim. And and I, I think there is a tremendous rivalry here. They play a lot in preseason games. The players know each other. They run each other in airports, all those things. I just think it makes for a better rivalry because of all those factors. Count it. the pass. Nice tackle. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Quarterback drops back, looking for a receiver on the left side here. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it. And the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Third and short, following the completion. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Play action fake and dropping back to throw. The Rams now move the chain. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. From the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Here we go now. Here we go. Here we go. Second down following that incompletion. Play action fake. Looking to throw. It's got some daylight. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nobody but the quarterback in the backfield here. Drop back, shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine. Zeroed in on that one. Breaks another tackle. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Another first down by the offense. The defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look out. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Now first and ten. The throw to the left. Breaks free. Show that abound. Well, the defense in the perfect situation at times. They make the quarterback throw short, but then nobody makes the tackle. Get in position, wrap the arms around the legs of these receivers, and bring them down. So here come the St. Louis Rams in 2011. You got Bradford going into his second year, and you think, okay, maybe this is a team that can take advantage of a weak division, a division that ended up belonging in a very strong fashion. Interception. hit. Hold on a minute. There's an injured player on the... First and ten. 
He'll throw it over the middle. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Well, the best thing you can say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection, nowhere to throw it, just throw it away. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hands. That time the pass is completed in the double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. The quarter, and he's intercepted. That brings the play to an end. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like to the left no room to complete that one that's a wonderful job that time by the secondary everybody's in position nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football and it leads to another incomplete pass the defense comes out of the dime the reception easy wide open good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense look for the open space when you throw against zones that's what he did and he got the nice completion Offense lines up here. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Hunters all set here. A timeout charge to the offensive unit. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. From the shotgun. Trying to work that left side. The ball's deflected incomplete. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Perfectly thrown. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Looking across the middle, that catch will extend the drive. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. First down here. The give to the running back. Number 42, the ball carrier on the play. Gain of three. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. They still face third and six, even after that last successful pass play. Going across the middle, he had no time to get set. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. They're set to punt it away now. to haul it in. That's a muff. The ball is on the ground. It'll be interesting to see it. The 
quarterbacks calling something out. First and ten. Trying to work the middle of the field. And he's brought to the ground. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. And here we have second down. Out of the gun. Looks to his left. No one in sight. Has the grab. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but still did not get a first down. Third and short, following the completion. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Even though the defense knows they're probably going to run the football, it's third and short. We need to play hard. All you need is a little bit of a lane. We see it there, able to get the first down. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Just a quick drop back. Looking to the right side and throwing. He's stacked up at that Number point. 10. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. He fires it in there tight, and he's knocked out of bounds. That time, it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play-action pass, and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense, and the quarterback took advantage. They face first down. Play-action. Quarterback has it on his hip. Now looking to throw. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's a good sight for all the fans to see. He gets up and walks off the field, and I think he's going to be okay. He's just going to need a couple minutes to catch his breath, and then uh, we'll see him back on the field, it looks like, shortly. On the money. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down, but I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Third down and five. Working that left side. Number 10 goes into play. All set to punt here. And the offense will call a timeout. The formation here, shotgun, eyeing that left side. They pick up the first down with that reception. Touchdown. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Pulled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Shotgun formation. Stands in the pocket. And it's thrown and incomplete. The intended receivers. A little dime package here for the defense. Second down and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Ball is batted down. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. They'll go shotgun here. Scanning the field. That pass well defended. Number 83, the 
intended receiver on the play. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. Nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Second and nine. The quarterback throws the pass. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. What a job by the quarterback, finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. It's a two tight end formation. Looking to go up top again on first down. What happened here? That pass was thrown right into the defender's hands. Incomplete. Second down here. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. Gets away from the heat. Easy catch there. No one near him. Gains 18. So many times we see quarterbacks get in this position. They get out of trouble, but they're so terrible throwing the football on the run, they can't take advantage of the fact that they got out of trouble. Not this time. Good throw on the run. Extra DBs all over the field. The quarterback has his team's attention here from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. And almost picked off. Second down. No, 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 go, go, go. Second down coming up. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Looking across the middle. And he gains maybe three. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and then uh, getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third down and seven. Quarterback drops back, play action. Airtight coverage, incomplete. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays but a good play there in another incomplete pass. Defensive back, reading the wide receiver, make. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. He drops back to throw. It Interception. Gets him some space, not giving up another inch. I, well, I have to say that's just a terrible decision. First down and ten. Throwing now to his left. 
the defense had that one covered. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. Not much time left here, and the defense will need to come up with a stop to maintain the tie. Almost went back the other way, but the defender could not hold on. The game is tied, and time is a factor. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody move. They come to the line, and it's first down. Play fake here, trying to work the middle of the field. No separation at all, incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position, nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. And tackled down at the 43-yard line. You know in the NFL now, the defenses have to be smart. When it's a long situation where you think they might throw it deep down the field, when they throw it short, you have to react, you have to break down, spread the field, and make the tackle. Come on. Play number six coming up on this drive. They're going back up top. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows his zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. The quarterback's hollering out instructions from the gun, and he wants to throw it across the middle. He's brought down. Nice job that time, getting that extra yard and getting that first down. This offense methodically just marching down the field. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Side. The defense wants to stop the clock. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second down and five. The quarterback throws the pass. Touchdown as we near the end of this one. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays. It would come to an end, and what a game it was. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade, G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild the muscles. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality. And for you in the booth, you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today in prime time. <laughs> That's right, it's all about me. And it would have been if I could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes. But it's awesome to win in a game that's featured in everybody in the country, all your peers, they watch you, it just doesn't get better. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.